Will Lulu have babies? Oh, look at Lulu. Dude, this isn't the most adorable thing I have ever seen. No! My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my water people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. All right, guys, so in today's episode, it's going to be a short vlog about my girl, Lulu. You guys may be wondering, who is Lulu? If you guys are new to this channel, or if you guys just haven't been paying attention, or if you guys just didn't care about Lulu, Lulu is my adopted pet duck. Yeah, you may be wondering, how does that happen? Well, I started feeding my catfish some cat food, and all of a sudden, there comes Lulu. Lulu was walking around. Lulu was looking for a free meal. And I started to feed Lulu, and she started to come every single day. And here's a couple of clips from when I first met Lulu. Let's let them roll. Lulu's actually my pet duck. Um, she comes every day. Come on, don't embarrass me. She comes to see me every day. I guess how this started was because of cat food. She loves cat food. What's up, ducky? And I know it's Lulu because of the markings on her head. She has like two black dots right there. What Lulu does, Lulu's a very tricky duck. What she does is she just comes under, under the fence right there. Just to come say hi to your boy, Wild World of Farley. Come on, Lulu. Eat up. All right, and so I started, you know, becoming attached to Lulu because she was coming every day. And not only was she coming, but she was also bringing someone from in. Here are some clips. All right, so this is when we start having problems. Lulu right here brought her other female friend right here and her man, and now they're all in my yard, and it's time for all three of you to go. Come on, Lulu, don't be like that. Don't be trifling, Lulu, don't be trifling. Yeah, that's right, and what you doing? You need to go back where you came from. This is, no, this is for Lulu, okay. Okay. And after bringing her men, I was like, hey, why not? Let me feed them, let me feed them. And all of a sudden, we started having four ducks come every single day. Then all of a sudden, guys, something happened. I didn't see Lulu anymore. Lulu was gone. Uh, what happened was pretty much this. I don't think I should have shown that. Well, anyway, all of a sudden, I met Lulu again. And here's the clip. All right, my Walden people, take a look at Lulu. Lulu came back with her family. She's been gone for months. I was wondering what happened to her. And look at the two markings on her head, the two black dots. Zoom in. That's how you know it's Lulu. And look at this. Look at all of these little ducklings she has. Ah, uh, it's a circle of life. <laughs> One thing's for sure is we still love cat food. As it turned out, Lulu was gone because, well, Lulu had babies. And I'm assuming Lulu forgot where she lived because she forgot she used to come here. Sneak right under that fence right there and come see the wild world of Farley as well as get a free meal. But guys, guess what? The past couple of days, because I had that interaction that I just showed you, Lulu has been coming back and saying hi to me and introducing me to her children. Her little ducklings, if you will. And here's some more clips of her cute, adorable little ducklings. Oh, look at Lulu. Lulu brought all her babies to see me. All right, guys, so I have some cat food. She snuck under the fence with her babies. Oh, that is cute. If that's not cute, I don't know what is. Oh my god, look at that. Look at all of Lulu's babies. All right, look how close we're getting to Lulu's babies. Ah, oh, take a look. Okay, she's looking at me. Looking at me kind of funny. All right, but it's okay. Let's take a, okay. Relax, relax, relax. Come on, Lulu, it's me. Don't act like you forgot who I am. Don't be acting like that. Lulu and the duck squad. Lulu and the chick squad. <laughs> I like that. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Lulu has made it back home. Now she's back in my yard where she belongs. Or just where she likes to chill. This is cool. I'm excited, guys, because I pretty much just got like, what, 12 ducklings? Taking a bath and drinking some water. Look at them. Just look at them. Let's just let's get just a little closer. So she's not too spooked. She's not she's not gonna run and she knows there's no immediate danger. So she'll actually let me get pretty close to her and her ducklings. Alright, so let's see. Oh, there's some more babies over there. I was I was wondering what happened to the rest of them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got exactly twelve. Twelve baby ducks. I'm not too sure, but guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think. If I should maybe put a little enclosure over there, or what kind of enclosure should I put down there? Hey guys, please comment, because I have no idea. I gotta do some research on some ducks. Some Muscovy ducks. And there's a dog, barking. If this isn't the most adorable thing I have ever seen, or you guys have ever seen on my channel, tell me what is. Uh, maybe Bob. Bob was pretty cute. 
Only real OGs know about Bob. It's a brand new day, and take a look who came to visit us. It's no other than our girl Lulu and her babies. All right, she had 12 babies, but I think something happened. What's up, Lulu? Let's count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh. All right, guys. I guess they may have lost a baby. Ooh. All right, let's feed Lulu one more time. Look how cute this is. It's okay, Lulu. It's okay, Lulu. And the Lulu squad, the duckling squad, eat up. And look at the little babies eating though. Look at them. Let's take a look. Oh, Lulu just watches her little babies just swim and enjoy the water and get a little bit refreshed and right after that the babies come right back to her she makes sure they're okay I told you guys she took her little babies for a little swim so I guess I'm a quack dad or, or, or a duck grandfather if you will I'm gonna keep on feeding Lulu and her babies and look forward to seeing them grow and develop all right my Walden people so as you guys can see we're inside now taking a look at another set of babies these are my African cichlids look at them go yeah, they got them pretty big. And they're liking the new tank. As you guys can see, the tank is much clearer now. The filter has been doing its job. Apart from that, look at the guppies. Ooh, looking oh so good in paradise. Guppy paradise, that is. All right, they're getting bigger. All right, guys, so I'm just going to do a quick feeding, feed the African cichlids as well as the guppies. Their bellies are looking pretty thick. They're doing pretty good. I fed them earlier this morning. What I fed them were some frozen blood worms. Let's give them some bug bites. Drop some in right now. Watch it fall, watch it fall. Crushing them up. And there they go. It's dropping again in the water. And they're going for it. Ooh, look at them go. They're going crazy. Now look at that one right there. I'm just crushing the little bug bites into smaller pieces for them. And they're enjoying it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's look at Guppy Paradise. Drop some food, drop some food. And take a look at them eating as well. Got some down here. Eating at the bottom. Oh, look at that colorful one. Yeah, that was pretty. That was really pretty. And Guppy Paradise is looking great. And here's a quick update on Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. He's doing great. Ever since that Prazzy Pro was put into his tank about three days ago, he passed a long worm. And after that, his poop's been pretty regular. So we have about maybe four more days until I do a complete water change. I have a little snack for him right now, which is some frozen shrimp. It's about to fall, it's about to fall, and we wait. And he sees it. And let the fun begin. Ooh. Who's a good boy? He has actually gained some weight, and he's actually gotten a little bit bigger from when I first got him. And his appetite has not changed. He'll eat all day, every day. Ooh, look at him just tearing it, tearing that up. Ooh, that was just one big gulp. And he's going to finish the job done, and just like that, he is done. Got the people's champ right over here. He did it. Yeah, yeah. So two possible sources of these parasites may have been from this tank right here. If you guys notice, we have a lot of snails. Snails are known to carry parasites at times. So what I'm going to be doing from now on is I'm going to be picking up his snails and freezing them. That way I can kill some parasites. Apart from that... He did love ghost shrimp. I used to cast ghost shrimp in my lake. Ghost shrimp are known to cause parasites, so that might have been another reason why he developed parasites, internal parasites. But the good news is, he's A-OK. -okay. And the giant garami is massive. Very, very massive. I need to do a water change and I'll do that today. But he's a massive boy. 
Alright my Walton people, I hope you enjoyed this quick vlog and update on Lulu the Duck. So stay safe and until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.